Be very careful, because you know, this could go sideways real fast. Oh. I think we already went sideways. Hello, everyone. My name is Sandra, and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. My March ice cream beauty box finally came in the mail and I am super freaking excited. Last time, that box was popping. I actually filmed those videos, the box and the bag together because they came super late and then I was sick. So I kind of had to put them together into one video. This time we're gonna do separate videos. That way I can try the palette that's in there and not have to like pick and choose which palette I'm gonna use. I still have to make another video using the palette from the bag, which I will make that, okay? Don't worry, don't, don't, don't get mad. I will make a video for it. Today we're actually going to get into the March box. I'm super excited to see what they have in here. I'm super excited to see what I'm super excited. Okay. <laughs> I'm super excited to see what they have in store this month. This is what she's looking Let's try that again. When you open her up, this is what she's looking like. The first thing that I'm pulling out is, ooh, ooh, this looks fancy. It's by Bow Bay Beauty. They had that really, really nice blush last time. So I'm very excited to see how this one performs. This is a liquid highlight drops in gold opal. And this is what the box is looking like. And you can clearly see yourself. Ain't that neat? This just says you can drop, no. Apply drops to the high points of the face to add dimension. Mm, okay, we like a little bit of dimension. <laughs> Okay, look at how cute that is. There is a little bit of like cracking and like openings, but this might be just like a filling error. I don't know. We'll see, let me see if I can. Okay, now she look good. Now she look good. All them little spots is gone. Isn't that so cute and bougie? Bruh, I'm so into this. So it's just like a little, little dropper. It's like kind of thick. I wasn't expecting it to be that thick. Let's see. It's more like a cream than like liquid drops. I mean, is cream considered a liquid or is that like somewhere in between? So it's, it's a little thicky thick, but this is what it looks like. Let's try to, oh shoot, I put way too much. Bruh, okay, I'm gonna just rub this all the way down my arm cause that's, that would look crazy. This is what it makes me look like, you know, shiny. I think that is so pretty. That actually might look really good, like kind of rubbed all over like your decollete. Is that what they call it? Decollete? Fancy word for boobs. Like all over like your shoulders and on your collarbone and things things like that. I think that that would actually look really pretty and then give you a nice shine glisten while you're in the sun. And it, it goes into the skin really nicely. Like it's not sticky like at all. I like that. I will definitely be trying that as a highlighter today. Very cute, very, very bougie. Okay, we love being bougie over here. Uh, bougie on a budget. <laughs> the next thing in here is nice and bubble wrap. So, you know, she don't arrive break or arrive break. What the, f what kind of English is that? So she doesn't arrive broken. Can you, uh, believe that I actually used to teach English? Man, cognitive decline. That's that's all that is, it's cognitive decline. Now, this looks to be, what is this? Oh! Okay. This is a bronze and blush duo by Ofra, Ofra Cosmetics. Now that looks really pretty. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like split pans like this because I like to use my fluffy brush. And if I do my fluffy brush, it's gonna dip into both. So with this one, you gotta use a smaller brush and then put it where you want it to go. And then on top of that, it's not split like perfectly even. So the OCD Virgo in me is very frustrated looking at this. It's not straight up and down real perfect like, but I will let it go. These colors are actually really pretty though. So this is just like a bronzer and a blush. Very nice. Let's go ahead and see how this looks on my skin tone. Feels lovely. Those look really nice. I think that bronzer is gonna lurk, lurk, work. I think that bronzer is gonna work very beautifully on my skin tone. I'm glad that we have a blush as well. So we will definitely be incorporating that into the look for today. Ice cream beauty stay hitting. I don't think I've gotten an ice cream beauty box that was trash, like ever. All right. The next thing is by ZC, and this is a Chinese brand. We've we've had ZC in the past. And this is the Living Colorfully something. The rest is in Chinese. Uh, Multi-effect makeup primer. Ooh. Okay, so we got a cute little face primer. Ooh, packaging feels really nice. I love this like little gold thing at the bottom. I think that's so cute. And you can see like the Chinese characters. Uh, don't ask me which character that is, okay? Just 
because I lived in China doesn't mean I learned Chinese. So this is what the primer is looking like. It's pretty big. This is pretty big for a primer. Usually the primers are like this, this itty bitty little thing, but it's, it's kind of big. It's got a little thing so you could be like Instagram people. This is the primer. It's green, which green is usually like color correcting. I think it corrects red, redness. It's a little sticky. It has kind of like a perfumey smell. So if you don't like perfume in your facial products or anything that goes on your face, this is probably not for you. It definitely smells like the perfume section at Macy's or like JCPenney, uh, Carson's. <laughs> if you're old enough to have lived through the Carson's era, I think they closed all their stores. This is, it's, it's pretty nice. It just has like a perfume scent, which I'm not a fan of, but I'll get over it. I'll get over it to try the product out. If the product works well, then I'll get over the scent. I'm not super, super sensitive to scents. I just don't like them. The next thing is by Stina. Is it St Stina or Stina Face? I'm not sure. And this is the Velvet Dream Stick. I'm guessing this is like a lipstick. Again, it has like that cute gold around the bottom. I think that's so pretty. Ooh, okay. This is what she's looking like. Well, this is what she's looking like. So you can actually read the words. I love this like outside packaging color. I think that's so pretty. Ooh, okay. So this is like a little lipstick. So this is what the lipstick is looking like. Um, What color is this? Zero One Bliss. That's very pretty with a nice dark lip line. I think that's gonna look absolutely gorgeous. I, I like velvety lipsticks. I don't like matte lipsticks. It, it just puts the crusty dusties on center stage and I don't like that. I'm very into this. I am excited to try it. The last time I'm pulling out again is nice and bubble wrapped. We love to see it. And this is the end of the rainbow, Ladybug Glow and Ice Cream Beauty. Oh, okay, so they collabed on this. So this is what it looks like. The packaging, Eh. It looks like it's just been printed off of somebody's computer. We don't really care about that. What do we care about? We care about them shadows, okay? How do shadows perform? If they perform well, we could give a F how ugly the packaging is. Those are some really, really pretty colors. You got some neutral, you got some pops of color, purple, the blue, the green, obviously the green does St. Patrick's March, okay, March is the green. I'm very excited to see how these shadows perform. They look like they're probably duochromes. Every palette now has duochromes. Like, I guess that's like the it girl is like duochromes. We're definitely gonna play around with this palette and see what she's working with. In the meantime, between time, let's go ahead and do some swatches. These are the swatches. I think they turned out absolutely amazing. This green is so freaking pigmented. And bruh, look at those. Those are absolutely Stunning. I'm just gonna struggle with trying to figure out which one I wanna play with, okay? These are the swatches. They went on amazingly. That was everything in my ice cream beauty box for the month of March. Now, let's go ahead and get into some prices, okay? Let's see how much how much these things cost. Are right, we spending big bank or little bank today? First and foremost, the End of the Rainbow Palette by Ladybug Glow and Ice Cream Beauty. This is going to cost you $30. I mean, the shadows are beautiful. I don't know if I'm paying $30. You know, you might be able to argue $30 if the packaging was a little bit more expensive looking, you know, a little bit more high quality, okay? You might be giving me for $30 if the packaging was more high quality. The outside just isn't giving $30. The next item is this gold opal iridescent highlighter by Bow Bay Beauty. This is gonna run you $35. Yeah, she looked $35. <laughs> she does definitely looks $35. I just wish the consistency was a little looser, okay? Less thicky thick. The next item is the Redness Correcting Primer by ZC Cosmetics. And this is gonna run you $22. If you get rid of the redness, then it's definitely worth the $22. I'm gonna have some redness, so we'll be able to see if it does what it say it do. Let's see, let's see, let's see. The next item is the Unit Blush Shirt. No, Unit Blusher, Blusher. That's what they call this. First we have blush lighter and now we have blushes by Ofra Cosmetics. And this is gonna be $29. 
No, ma'am. And the last item is the Bliss Velvet Dream Stick by Stineface or Stineface, not sure. This will be $12. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a little try on, okay? We're gonna do a little try on and see how these products perform on the face. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first item we're actually gonna try out is the ZC Multi Effect Makeup Primer. Now this is supposed to get rid of some redness, so we'll see. Be like the Instagram people and just like, you know. Okay, it's definitely gonna turn us into Casper the Friendly Ghost. As far as getting rid of redness, I don't know. I feel like I look even more red. I mean, redness really isn't like an issue for me. I have some redness, but I've never really had an issue with it to where I need to like color correct. We'll see how it grips the makeup, okay? If it grips the makeup, we're good. I'm gonna go put some stuff on my face and we'll be right back to try some of these products. And we're back. The next item that we're gonna actually get into is the Ofra Blusher that they're calling it. And because of the way this thing is set up, I had to go and get a smaller, fluffier brush so that I can dip into one side at a time. So to start off with, we're gonna go in for this bronzer. I think it looks pretty good. It's a decent color, okay? I'm I'm decently bronzed. Like I'm not a bronzed goddess, but I am I am bronzed. And we're gonna get into this blush -zer, okay? The blush side of the blush -zer. I'm just gonna go into it. Ooh, okay. Be very careful, cause you know, this could go sideways real fast. Oh, I think we already went sideways. This color is actually really pretty though. Ooh, oh no, oh no. I know I like a cold girl moment, but this is just like, almost like I'm frozen. I'm gonna go put a little bit of regular powder on my nose and see if that fixes it. I'll be right back. <sighs> okay, the toning of it down didn't quite work. So we're just gonna hope that when I melt everything together that it kind of diffuses a little bit. We're definitely blushing, okay? Borderline jigsaw. I think this blush is really nice. I do prefer a peachy, peachy blush, but this has a moment as well. Now, we're gonna try to use this. I mean, it is more of a creamy consistency. Let's see, I'm gonna put a little bit well, shoot, that's a lot. So I guess what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to move this around with the brush and then put that on. Ooh, I think that's working. Oh yeah, that's definitely working. That looks beautiful. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I think that method works really well. Put it on the back of your hand first and then kind of... Because if you went straight in with this, you going to look like that gold chick off of Guardians of the Galaxy. You're going to look like you're doing some cosplay. Next, we're going to get into this Iconic London Brow Tint Gel thingy mabobber. I don't have the best history with products like this, but I'm hoping because the brush is much smaller, hopefully I won't like jack my eyebrows up like I did last time. So I'm going to bring y'all in a little closer. Come on, okay? Come a little closer. We, we acquainted, okay? Look closer. Is this supposed to add color? Like I see color on the thing. Okay, it definitely added some kind of tint to my eyebrows. It definitely added tint to them. Uh, I'm like scared to use this. this was last time I jacked myself up so badly, I had to go back and fix it with concealer. I have to use my glasses and see how this looks because with my glasses off, I can't really tell. Um, Let me see if I can fix it with my glasses on because I mean, it don't look terrible. Like it's not nearly as bad as it was last time. It's gonna have to do. Not my favorite. Yeah, not my favorite. I much prefer pencils where I could just kind of draw it on. I definitely prefer that. But we're gonna, we're gonna just let that go and move on. Now for the fun part. Okay, the fun part, getting into this palette. We're gonna dip into this brown shade right here, very lightly. And we're gonna use that as our transition. It 
it went on a little bit patchy. I think you can kind of blend out the patchiness, okay? If you just kind of work with her. Moving to a smaller brush, we're going to dip into this green shade right here. And we're just gonna place her right here on the ends. And then we're actually gonna clean our brush off. And then we're gonna build this into our crease. See, it is a little bit patchy, but I feel like if you work with it, like, you know, just put in that extra elbow grease, you can make it work. Moving back to our fluffy brush, not adding any products. We're just gonna kind of diffuse this a little bit more and bring it out. So far, I don't really like how the mats are, are playing out. It's not, it's not quite my favorite. Next, we're going to try to deepen this up a little bit with this darker green shade. And I'm just gonna tap it in there once. And then instead of doing the other side, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it right away. Taking my fluffy brush, I'm gonna just diffuse this out yet again. Now for the fun part, okay? The fun part, which will hopefully bring this all together. We're gonna go into this really pretty bluish kind of shifty shade. And I'm actually going to use my finger. Ooh, ooh, I kind of got some on the bottom. kind of jacked up a little bit. I kind of jacked up a little bit and put this underneath my eye. I'm gonna just try to get that off or at least blend it in. Next time, I'm gonna use a brush. What we're actually gonna do is, using this little flat brush, I'm gonna put this deeper green under my eye. Next, I'm actually gonna go back into this deeper green and then just kind of blend it into that duochrome. Oh, I feel like I got something in my eye. Oh my God, I got something like in my eye. Oh my God, what is in my eye? The actual like duochrome is very pretty. I just don't like the mattes. <laughs> the mattes in here are not my favorite. I always do a cute little inner corner. So we're gonna go into this really pretty color right here and put that in the inner corner. That's cute. I don't know if it goes with this eye look, but it's cute. And next, we're actually gonna get into another new product. And this is going to be the Girlactic, is it Girlactic? Yeah, Girlactic Duo that I got in my in my Mystery Ipsy where, you know, they scammed me. This one's actually in a really pretty brown color. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the part underneath my waterline, cause you know, I don't do the whole waterline thing. And now the liquid liner, we're gonna use that to give ourselves a nice little wing. Oh, that's so patchy. Bruh, this is just like super freaking patchy. Or it could just be me. Maybe it's me. <laughs> I always leave room for it to be me because, you know, other people might be achieving wonderful looks with this palette and not having the issues that I'm having. So it could be me. I don't know, I might have to try this eyeliner again, just on a different look. I don't know if I love her. Next, we're actually gonna go into a different product. You don't need to be this close anymore, okay? So I'm gonna need you to back up. All right, I'm gonna need you to back up, okay? Social distance. And we're gonna get into this Dewy Spray by Anastasia Beverly Hill. And we're gonna get our spritz on, see if it adds a little dewy kind of glow to our look. And the next item that we're gonna actually get into, I think I've used this on a different video before, but I don't know if I talked about it. This is the Give Them La 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 La. Give Them La La Mascara. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word mascara. I know I told you to get up off me, but you, you can come back. Come a little closer, okay? We cool again. This is what the brush looks like, and we're just gonna, you know, do the eyelashes.
All right, the eyes are done. This mascara is actually pretty nice. It did give me some, some length and some volume. Is it the best? No, okay, it's not the best, but she's okay, okay? She's doing her thing. Next, I'm actually gonna go into my pair Nova, and this is in the color, is it Lightyear? Is that the name of the color? I don't know, but this is the lippy pencil liner thingy we're gonna get into, so what she looks like. That went on pretty smooth. I usually prefer a darker color, but it's it's not bad. It's not bad. I think it'll go okay with the lippy, the lippy that we have. And last but certainly not least, well, we don't know if it's least yet, is the Stina Face Lipstick in the color 01 Bliss. She goes on really smooth. I think this lipstick is nice. I don't know if it necessarily goes with this look. Okay, this look is kind of all over the place. But let me, you know, push you out a little bit further so you can get a full glimpse. This is the final look. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> let me fix my hair first, okay? This is the final look. I don't know if I like it yet until I take some pictures. <laughs> Once I take some pictures, I'll know for sure if I like her or not. I think it turned out okay. Not the biggest fan of the eye makeup look. The actual duochrome is beautiful, okay? Absolutely stunning. But the mattes, they're just kind of patchy and difficult to work with. So I might be, you know, reaching into that palette just for the duochromes and then letting everything else go to the wayside. I mean, everything else I worked with, I really like. The eyeshadow palette is maybe a miss for me, except for the duochromes. The duochromes is hidden, okay? They, they beautiful. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fae Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.